Hey guys, I want to talk about gallstone symptoms. Okay, what are they? Number one, bloating, indigestion, burping or belching, which is kind of the same thing, constipation, sometimes diarrhea, but more constipation, um, pain or cramping underneath the right rib cage. Okay, right there. Um, right scapular pain, that's right on the, that bone in the back there could be on the inside or right underneath the tip of the scapula. It can go up into the upper back, up into the neck, into the face, anything on the right shoulder. It's worse when you eat greasy, fatty junk foods, like a donut. Um, chest pain, why? Because the gallbladder could be swollen, backed up, putting pressure on the liver, which is then putting pressure on the heart. Nausea, vomiting, your stools float or they're lighter color, like a gray or a light brown. So these are indicators that there could be gallstones. Okay, so the question is what causes gallstones? Number one, decreased bile, B-I-L-E. Bile is the detergent that dissolves the grease. It's the thing that dissolves cholesterol to, so it doesn't form into a stone. So some people say that what causes gallstones is eating greasy foods, but greasy foods triggers the release of bile. It's really the combination of lower bile because you can't digest certain cholesterol uh, particles and it also backs up the liver and creates an imbalance. But it's really the combination of higher levels of insulin. Insulin will decrease the bile production. Okay, So really it's the insulin behind that. That's why so many diabetics have gallstones, but other people do as well. If you take an average person that has gallstones, um, they're usually on a high carb sugar diet. Let's take myself for example. When I was going through college, um, I was making some meatloaf, okay? And I had the recipe from my grandmother, but of course, I never read the directions. I just kind of summarize it. I didn't see at the bottom line where you had to drain the grease from the meatloaf, the tray. I didn't do that. So here I took a pound of hamburger with bread and ketchup, which is all sugar, cooked it with all the grease, okay? Now what that's going to do, it's going to massively trigger the insulin spike because anytime you combine meat with sugar, you really accentuate and add the spike of insulin there. So I basically went to bed consuming that whole meatloaf, woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning with the most severe gallbladder attack you can possibly imagine. Now, I didn't have a stone that I knew of, but these symptoms are similar to a gallbladder attack. You know, it doesn't necessarily always have to come to a stone. It could just be the, an irritation to the gallbladder itself, okay? So anyway, um, little did I know it was my gallbladder and I had started getting right shoulder pain that just kept going on and on until about 12 years later, I figure, finally figured out the connection improved my gallbladder and all my right shoulder pain completely went away. I never had a problem again. But the point is that these two combinations, low bile and high insulin from eating junk or sugar will definitely set you up for a gallbladder uh, symptom or a gallstone. What's interesting is people have their gallbladder out and then they, um, they don't change the diet. They think it's, they can keep eating and they get the pain back, you know. We'll, I'll do another video on that specifically. So now, um, what do we do to improve the bile and decrease the insulin? I'll put some links down below, but you need to go on the ketogenic eating plan and intermittent fasting together. Both of those are essential to improve your gallbladder function, okay? I'll put some links down below. Uh, I also recommend one product called the gallbladder formula, and the reason I recommend it is simply because it will give you actual purified bile salts to give you a jump start to start to dissolve this. See, bile is recycled. So if you lose the bile somehow and you don't have enough, you're always going to be deficient unless you put some back. So we want to add some purified bile salts. But in the formula, we also, I put something in there to lubricate the duct the bile ducts so it can go through easy. I also put something in there, an herb to help dissolve the stone, it's called stone root. I also put something in there to help you increase your enzymes uh, for the pancreas to take the stress off the gallbladder. I also put something to acidify the stomach called betaine hydrochloride to help uh, the stomach activate more bile release. So there's a lot of things in there to help heal the gallbladder improve the situation and the combination of these would be exactly what you need to do 
to handle a stone or improve gallbladder symptoms. Thanks for watching. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.